Hey, just wanted to shoot an update video beginning of February, kind of talking about my experiences since my first HRT appointment with the doctor. Um, it's been kind of rough lately. I feel like I was at a point of knowing, like, I'm getting all these things lined up. I'm going to start tea. It's going to be really exciting. And I forgot that these kind of, these processes are full of hiccups. And I wasn't really expecting it to get me as down as it did. So essentially what happened is I had my blood tests and when my blood tests were ran and I got the results, my prolactin levels were really, really high. They were like double what the high level is. So the doctor called me, we talked about that and essentially there was a couple of things that could be going on. They were too high to be caused by stress. So I kind of thought maybe some of the supplements I was taking were affecting it, and I looked into that and did research. And sure enough, um, BCAs and another extract I was taking both were associated with raising prolactin levels. So I figured, okay, this has to be connected. This is what's raising my levels. I'll immediately stop these, and hopefully this will resolve things. The other scenario is that those kind of those kinds of numbers on your prolactin levels show that you may have tumors on your pituitary gland. So that was really scary to hear that news and then have to sit and wait for a not knowing what's really going on. Do I have tumors on my pituitary gland? Did I cause this by taking supplements? Am I, you know, hurting my body? Is it a fluke? Is it nothing? So the next step was to retest. So I redid the blood test and got that back and my prolactin levels were exactly the same. So that meant that, you know, he had to further investigate what was going on. So now I was in this holding cell and this waiting game of just not knowing what's going on with my health, not knowing when I was going to be able to start HRT, not knowing if I was going to, you know, was this going to lead to a bunch of retest and retest and retest, and it just freaked me out. And honestly, I went from a place of a lot of confidence, feeling really good, to feeling really down and depressed and scared and anxious and just I don't know it's like I lost this grip of feeling this regimented control with what I was doing all of a sudden that was just kind of thrown in the air so I've been dealing with that lately and it's been kind of hard um so finally got a call from the doctor and they were waiting on results from another test which tests macro prolactin levels. So macro prolactin is this stuff that appears in some people's blood which will cause prolactin level tests to show these really high numbers. Macro prolactin is not dangerous and it's this kind of fluke thing that actually doesn't affect your health in a negative way. And that's what I had. So that was like a weight off the shoulders. Boom. I don't have these tumors. I didn't hurt myself through supplementation. Um, I didn't have a health issue there. So that was really good. And I asked him, you know, now does this put me into the realm of being able to start HRT and he said, yes, there's no problem. We can start you. I can write your prescription. So then I feel this wave of, like, you know, victory and happiness. And I'm pumped. Like, I'm going to finally get to start tea. And it's, like, this question in the back of my head. I'm like, do I get to celebrate now? Like, can I finally sigh this relief and celebrate? And something about me, like until it's literally in my body, 
that first dose, I just can't let myself get excited yet because I, I keep waiting for these new roadblocks to appear. And sure enough, they do. So I go to pick up my prescription. That's really exciting. I get my script, which is, I think, for a lot of trans people when they pick up their script it's like this moment of validation and just excitement and feeling really good so I was getting a little you know I was starting to get excited um so I go to get the prescription filled and testosterone is classed in a level where it needs further authorization. It's not like going and picking up antibiotics. It has to go through these different authorization phases. But I figured if my doctor wrote the script and I can go take it to the pharmacy that I should be able to fill it. Um, not the case. I have to wait until the insurance company clears my ability to have this covered. Which then I got like the... I knew that androgel was going to be expensive, more expensive than shots, but I think it's the best route for me and my mental health, so I, I really want to go on that. But holy shit, is it expensive. Um, without insurance, the tube is like almost $2,000 a month. That's just insane to me. I mean, I have insurance through through the government marketplace, Obamacare previous, um, and it's expensive as hell for me and my wife to have insurance. It is not cheap. And I'm looking at that and thinking, God, this monthly bill I pay for insurance better pay off. Like, it better give me benefits. It better cover my medicine. And it better cover a decent portion of my appointments. And I'm I'm not honestly that educated when it comes to healthcare. I don't, I'll be honest, I don't really understand health insurance. I don't really get how de deductibles work. And I need to do further research on that. And I need to have power through intelligence and not fear through ignorance when it comes to healthcare. But... I don't know, just the whole process of finding out good news, finding out bad news, finding out good news, finding out bad news, getting excited and then having to wait, getting excited and be patient, be patient. Oh, it might be a week, it might be three days. It's a fucking roller coaster. Like, I, I can't get excited yet, and I can't get positive yet because I, it's too, it puts me in too vulnerable of a place. This is a huge change. It means so much to me. I'm grateful that I've even gotten this far. I do not want to downplay my gratitude. I'm, you know, I found out that the prolactin stuff wasn't an issue and then I got approved for HRT and I mean the wave of emotion that hit me, it was surreal. I just went through like smiling and crying and anxiety and then happiness and then fear and it's just hit from all angles because this is such a big deal. And I re I'm really, I am really ready for it. Um, it's getting harder and harder to like live in this 50-50 state identity of being Allie is just draining the fucking life out of me. Um, but I gotta stay strong and keep my head up and I shouldn't even be getting this upset. I'm so lucky to even be at this point. I'm lucky to be able to afford any hormones at all. And if androgel is too expensive, then I can switch to shots. It'll all be fine, you know? Like, I, I have to just calm down and take these punches and ride, ride these waves. Um, but yeah, like, the, the up and down of when things are going to happen, I'm struggling with that. And I've got to learn how to just trust everything.
and be vulnerable and be okay with being vulnerable and be okay with having feelings about this stuff. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to share like where, where things are now. I'm so close <laughs> to starting. It's so, so close. It's right on the horizon. But um, the last two weeks has been really hard. The uncertainty coupled with a really heavy workload just had me in a fucking clencher. And I'm almost out of it, and that's good. And I hope the next time that I vlog about this, it's going to be the first time, the first day on T. I'm going to finally feel that arrival of excitement. Um, but I'm learning that this is how it goes and that it's not expected. And it's okay. So just an update and I'll talk to you soon.